Hello and welcome to Game 5 of the Wonder Weasels against the Death Mountain Gorons, the final decisive game with me, my co-commentator Exta, the voice of Board 8 Baseball. Thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome, Alec. Pleasure to be here as always. So tonight we have Kershaw going up against um, going up against Oswalt. And let's see. So far the series, Oswalt had the win the first time up, seven innings, three earned runs. Kershaw got the loss, giving up seven runs in six and a third innings. So leading off, Derek Jeter, your boy. Mr. 3K. Did you know he's only the, what is it, Wade seventh Boggs. person? Next. What? He's only the second player to get a homer for his 3,000th hit. Yes. Yes, along with Wade Boggs. Man. Who did it? I think he did it with the Rays, but either way. Yeah, I remember that. Was it with the Rays? That's weird. That was the old um, commentary. or Not the, maybe not, huh? something like that. But yeah, he um, that was the old one of the old trivia questions. One of the few I knew. But so. Oh yeah, listen to Mister Modesty here. Hey, look, you know your baseball better than like probably ninety percent of the people everywhere. That's true, but the th see the thing is, I had a friend who I played RBI baseball with religiously in school, and he is like fan graphs on legs. <laughs> well, maybe fan graphs, you know, on a huge fat ass body but, uh, <laughs> but well i mean there's legs on that as pools yes. rips one up to left center so pools so far this postseason hitting uh 267 brings up granderson he's hitting 444 this series but Ooh. nice play nice and the side will be retired so head to the goron half of the inning Pedroia, A-Rod, and Cabrera do up. Man, I can't get over how we let Darunia get such a ridiculous lineup. Yeah, these three guys leading off are all hitting above 300 this series, which is, of course, not that much, but let's see. Pedroia, hit, uh, he only hit 250 in the regular season. A-Rod hit 328 with three homers. Cabrera only hit 184, so they're hitting a lot better so far this postseason. That's so random. Like, why? Oh. Yeah, these. Whereas in the regular this season. This game confounds uh, me. Who was it here? So, someone, someone here. Oh, well, no one on this team. Yeah, they're just, like, they had a lot of potential. Hit some good homers, but they didn't necessarily show up in the regular season. They're showing up now. <laughs> Perfect time. That's just what Darunia needs. Yeah. I am rooting completely. Is this the, this is the division series, isn't it? Yep. Oh, man, I'm rooting for the Wonder Weasels here so hard. Come on, get up. Throw him out. He's out. You you don't want anybody to beat you to being the first team with uh, uh two uh two World Series wins? Well, I just, yeah, I, I just don't want Darunia to do it, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, Miguel Cabrera gets aboard, and that will bring up David Ortiz. He is only hitting 176 with a homer so far this postseason after a regular season in which he had 313 with five long balls. Knocking in didn't, 15. Yeah, didn't he? Wasn't he leading the league in RBIs? Or didn't he lead the league in RBIs? Yeah, he was. I think he was second because somebody had like some real weird outlier statistic, I think, on them. But um, yeah, he. Uh, he was a beast, basically. Yeah. And, that one's lifted into left field. All right. Documents. Oh, that's not what I want to do. But I will find out. Yeah, so how did Volch they, do on the how did Volch do on the other game? He he, he volched. He volched. Yes. He, no, you, he you, clearly you know, we're getting to the point in the season where he loses a lot more interest and he's run out of, you know, things about bike stealing and such. <laughs> um yeah, Napoli, regular season, hit two eighty nine with four homers. So uh that Not bad. Was one of the steals of the draft right here for Boko. Yeah. It only took him four hours to steal. <laughs> I think actually Napoli was one of his quicker picks because that I actually wanted to hit it, to take Mike Napoli and I was pissed that I saw Boko took him. Uh, Big Dick Nick Swisher got eight knocked in 18 this season. So 
all right for Chris. Yeah. yeah. Big dick, Nick. Who came up with that? Well, it was back when Nick Green was playing for the Red Sox, and he was a shortstop who wasn't Julio Lugo. He got nicknamed Big Dick Nick. So now whenever anybody uh, anybody hits and is named Nick, they're Big Dick Nick. Ah, I so understand. I also, I also use it to refer to people in real life who get really confused. But uh, <laughs> I bet. Uh, that one's on to second. On to first. Got the double play. So, here comes Nelson Cruz. He's sucking. Oh yeah, he's got he's got a homer this postseason. One of his two hits. <clears throat> Been a long series. Yeah. You should you should recap the series at one point in between innings here. Yes, this very exciting series. I think the Gorons won one, then the Weasels, and the Gorons and the Weasels, and somewhere in there, I think Game Three, Hideki Matsui got injured. And he's not Aww. playing this game, which is a uh, big, uh, a potentially crippling for the Weasels. They managed to win the last game despite his loss, but he already, in the three games he played, he had two homers this postseason and was hitting 500. Wow. And, um, in the regular season, he, uh, what are you in the regular season? It was something crazy. Godzilla uh, reg- shows up. And yeah, in the regular season, he led the league with six homers and was hitting 286. How long is he out for? Um, if he's out for the rest of this series, well, this is the last game. And uh, <laughs> yeah. if the Weasels advance, then he will come back for game th- three, I think. So. Well, what if what if the the AL or whatever the the championship series goes seven games? Could he potentially return for that? Oh or? yeah, he's if he would be back if the Weasels advance, he's back either way in game three, I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, because it's, I think it's four games. He's this would be his second game he's missing. Okay. Uh, here is Soto. What do I have on Soto? I got some shit on him. You have shit on everybody. He hit 209. That is all. I have extra notes next to some guys like, oh, had a great second half, but a crappy first half. Or oh, this guy got the most RBI or it's the worst left fielder and bad ass in Nelson. <laughs> so I have for Giovanni Soto jack shit. <laughs> he hit 209. That is all. Oh, that one just misses on the inside, and he will walk to first base. Yeah. Runners in scoring position for Stephen Drew. Yeah, and looking at his postseason, it's just as uninteresting. So, <laughs> Stephen Drew, he's having a good postseason. He's hitting 462. He's got a long ball. Oh, is Walt. Trying to get out of this inning here. Do not want to fall behind the Gorons because we do not want the Gorons to win. The yeah. sooner they get knocked out, the better, basically. Mm-hmm. And over the head of the third baseman into left field. The Runners coming home. Is awful. not in time. Steven Drew with the go ahead RBI single, and that will bring up Dustin Pedroia, who has three homers this series, including a grand slam. And as many, last night, had as many hits as the entirety of the Rays. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was I was on my way back, and I'm, um, I, I left New Hampshire at like 8.30, and it was still going when I was getting to Connecticut four hours later. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess, um, you know, I get to watch it. And I ended up having to watch like four more innings. Wow. What was that by Pedroia? <laughs> That's not even like a pop-up. What was that? That was what we call a a blunt. It's a blooper bunt. Like, how do you even, like, like with the the speed on the ball, like, how do you, like, with physics, make the ball do that off your bat there? With Jack Physics Wilson. <laughs> he's, not, he's not Jack Wilson. He can't. Man, I'm going to sabotage my team next year because I will have to get Jack Wilson and... <laughs> Bobby Jenks. <laughs> Jose Bautista here, who is, was disappointing in the regular season, disappointing in the postseason. Not, Not disappointing there. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's a setup for you if you ever <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the setup there, Alec. Yeah, worst right fielder in, in Badass League the regular season, hit only 0.77 in the second half, no homers. But apparently in this game, finally, 
20 after 20 games of no homers, he's decided to be his um, his 2010-2011 self. And uh, Kershaw slowing down the 91 mile per hour slow ball <laughs> circle change up at 91 are you kidding oh man what's Jeter supposed to do with Kershaw slowing down and warping reality hey at least I don't have my lasers today well you know what this is this is that Jack Wilson since the nemesis were eliminated he's sitting there behind home plate and he's really pissed off that he's got nothing to do at this point in the season so he's fucking around with these guys that's exactly that's exactly what he's doing physics Wilson so <laughs> Tim Wilson, I'm trying to think if Wilson hit a home run for me this year. I have to go look now. And that is going to be into center field. Back is the center fielder. Still going back. And, oh, makes the play on the warning track right in front of the 424 marker. So, Sai is retired, but the game is tied. Here comes A-Rod. Hit 328 in the regular season. Three homers. So far this postseason, he is hitting an even 500 com- while well, coming to this game. Arod beasting all that made look foolish on that pitch there. Holy cow! A little one and one. Swing and a miss. <laughs> one and two. 